I don't say much publicly about Jack Ruby because he's dead. Uh, furthermore, he's unusual uh, among the people involved in the assassination because he is the only one who began trying to say what happened. That's probably one of the reasons he's dead. When the Warren Commission heard him in Dallas, he begged the Warren Commission to get the sheriff out of there, to get the assistant DA out of there and his counsel out of there, and he would talk to them. And they wouldn't do that. And he begged the Chief Justice to take him to Washington and he would be able to tell him things that he could not tell him there. And they wouldn't do that either because I'm sure they didn't want to hear what he had to say. Probably knew it all too well. The best way to describe the Jack Ruby situation is by saying that he was involved without any, without any question. He's very much associated with key individuals in the case most of the murders that occurred are because of the, the persons murdered had knowledge of some of Jack Ruby's associates, uh, and you're not supposed to know that he knew these people or that they were at the carousel club. That's the main reason for most of the murders. But uh, I'd rather not go into detail because this, uh, to go into detail here, brings it in the orbit of my case, except if anything can be said, uh, and I don't know if it can, but if anything can be said for somebody who participated in the assassination of John Kennedy, at least it can be said that, that Jack Ruby showed signs of remorse. As a matter of fact, he realized that he was used towards the end just as he had helped them use Lee Oswald. And in one of his letters, in one of his last letters, he smuggled out. He said, and to think all the time I was working for Nazis.